I'm about to show you guys some new plugins that can help you get the sound you want when it comes to mixing and you can get them very fast and simple without doing all the overthinking. Before I continue, I want to let you know this video is sponsored by Lander. Thank you guys for sponsoring today's video. I have the Lander FX Suite page pulled up on my computer screen right here. As you see, the plugin bundle is $99. There's also a free trial if you just want to download and try it. You'll have seven days to check them out. Five plugins, but we're going to dive into that in a moment. Also, on pricing, you can get 30% off using my code, which is in the description. And it's off of the All Access Pass, which comes with your mastering, distribution, samples, so much more, and even the whole uh, plugin suite. So this is a great value. And again, as I mentioned, I'm gonna show you guys how I would use this to mix a track and just show you what each one of these does. There's over 240 presets. So of course I'm not gonna go through all the presets, but this is a great tool. It's really fast and easy to control. Here are your five different plugins. You have acoustic, electric, bass, beats, and voice. I found a very interesting way to use voice. So I'm gonna show you guys that as well. That'll be like at the end of the video though. That's like a bonus. But outside of that, I've used all of these and I've had a lot of fun with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Logic without further ado and show you guys how I would mix a track using these. You guys know that I make my beats inside a machine, mix them in Logic. So this is what it looks like when you do that. You just have the stems all right here, ready to go. This beat has already been panned and leveled. It shouldn't be any effects on anything. If it is, I'll take it off, but I'm just gonna work through each of these plugins and just show you what you could do with them. So the first one I'm gonna start off with, I'm gonna start off with my main loop right here, which sounds like this, which already has an effect on it from when I made it a machine, but I'm gonna put another effect on it just for the sake of doing it. I need to put this on the loop so that way it I won't have to worry about where it's at. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up. Uh, let me pull up electric and just see what we can come up with. As you see right here, when you first open up one of these plugins, this is what it looks like. It's fairly simple. You have the blend, which is pretty much like the wet dry knob. If you know what that means, if it's wet is where you are putting the effect on it. And if it's dry, that's no effect. And here's your input and output controls right there as well. What you can do right here is if you need updates or anything like that, change the plugin size. And also they have different categories. You can browse them this way or another way of doing it is clicking this arrow where you can see you have creative reverb, delay, effects, EQ. Each little plugin has different categories. And inside of Logic, if you make a sound or not sound, but if you get a preset to a way that you like it, you can always go right here and click save as, and then save it. And then you'll be able to pull it up later. It'll be down under here before, like before factory presets, depending on what you name it. So let's go ahead and dive into it and see which effect we can throw on here. It's already one selected. Let's see what it sounds like. One thing about these plugins, it's fairly simple to add stuff in. I tend to put stuff a little bit lower. I don't really leave stuff at 100%, but I use 100% when I'm auditioning the sound and everything just to hear what it fully sounds like. So I like this one around this little range here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and let it play. Then without it, it's a little, a little different. But you know, before I settle on that one, let me go to acoustic. I know acoustic will be for like your pianos, uh, guitars and stuff, but let's just see what it does to this. And I already like that better than what I just had, but let's see what else is in here.
think this one is the one. It just gives it something extra. I can't even describe it. So right now I'm about to check out this vocal and then I'm gonna use voice for this one for sure. And that voice sounds so low. All right, so I'm gonna load up voice real quick. Right here, this is voice, you see the pink, and these are some of the presets. And again, you have these categories right here you can go through, and yeah, it's pretty simple, so I don't even have to keep describing that to y'all anymore, because it's, it's pretty simple, straight to the point. I'm gonna turn this up to 100, though, just so I can hear what it sounds like. See, I like the way that sounds over this. I'm probably just gonna leave it like that, but let me mess around with some other ones just to see. I feel like the Pop Diva one is probably going to be my favorite because it sounds so clear. Go right here to effects just to see what else is in here. I like that one, but I still like the first one. I think that's a cool effect. I've used it before. All right, I'm going to drop this one back on real quick. So, so far as this. Now, one of the most common questions that I'm sure a lot of producers get or hear or have is, about getting your kicks to hit or sound a certain way. This plugin right here called Beats is a great way to do that with your drums. Like the categories on here are drum kick, kick, snare, cymbal, EQ, FX, pretty self-explanatory. Your kick, snare, and your cymbals or your hats. I think they have a hi-hat thing in there too. You can use all of these, it's ready to go. For my kick, I'm just gonna pick one of these and uh, see what we come up with. That's the kick without this. I'm gonna pick that one. I think it sounds good how it is. Next, I have my snare. So I'm gonna use beats again, just because I believe I'll be able to find something for my snare in there. I'm gonna go right here, go to categories, and then snare, and let's just hear what we can come up with. This is what it sounds like with nothing on it though. Turn this back on. sound but again I'm gonna turn it down because you just you'll get it <laughs> once I play it see now it's in the background versus
hi hat how they are. Uh, let me check. Uh, I'm gonna add beats to this just for the hats, just to see what I can do with it. Okay, I'll leave it like that. This what's left right here is the eight oh eight. So again, well not again, I'm gonna pull up the bass. So this would be about finding something that makes it hit. Again, you turn it down, it'll still be good to go. If you turn it up, might be missing some of your original sound. Our amp effects. Even with it being that low, you can still hear it back there. I'm gonna leave it like this and without it without it it sounds like this put it back so let's hear the whole thing all together again So now I'm just going to turn the effects back off just so you can hear what it sounds like without the effects real quick. And uh, let's see what that sounds like. Just before anything was added. So now I'm about to add this back in. I think the most notable one would be the snare. So I'm about to drop that in. Or even the vocal, let me play that. So that's the snare. Put it back on my kick. Then the vocal. On the loop. Okay, so that's 
a quick way to get the sounds that you want when it comes to making beats or mixing your beats really you can do it in the process while you're making beats but for me i like to save adding effects unless it's something that's going to immediately change something like the loop that i had in there like the effects i threw on there was to chop it up and do all that stuff but if it's something just for getting a sound i like to do that when i'm mixing so i can see this definitely coming in handy i can see you guys using this if you want to have something quick where you don't even have to really think about making the sound the way you want you can go through these presets find something you like like i said together all of these there's like 240 presets so i barely scratched the surface with this but i've had fun with it so i told you guys i'm gonna show you guys a different way that i figured out how to use voice I'm about to show you guys that right now okay so one way i thought about using a uh, lander voice is for situations where if i want to do something funny in my video to stand out so this was a video i was editing the other day and i decided to just go ahead and mess around with this because it popped up down here when i was looking at my effects and i saw lander and i'm like hmm, let me see how this goes so i'm going to drop lander voice right here and then wait for it to pop up like that and so of course you hear me talking but I was waiting for it to load, so let's hear what it sounds like. I'm gonna I'm go ahead and put my headphones back on, and then I'm going to mute Lander for one second, and just to see what it sounds like without it. Or I'm gonna turn it all the way down. If you are a Drake fan, these sounds right here will help you get that OB. Okay, so that's that, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up some. If you are a Drake fan, these sounds right here will help you get that OBO. So what I was doing, with this was I was just having fun with it and messing around like just finding different ways to do things with my voice now that works if you have vocals of course if you're recording somebody's vocals you could do whatever you want with that but for me with these talking videos if you are a Drake fan these sounds right here will help. it's just ways to mess around with your voice if you are if you are a Drake fan these sounds right here will help you get that OBO sound so like I went ahead and I put sad music behind the little comment I was talking about turned the picture black and white, but you guys get the point. It's something you could do. So it doesn't even have to solely be just for music purposes. You can use it for your videos and things of that nature. If you guys are interested in checking out these effects, go ahead and click that link in the description. I pulled back up the all access plan here. You guys can check it out, save 30% using my code. Once again, thank you Lander for sponsoring this video. I appreciate all you guys for tuning in out there. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you will be using this to mix your beats. I appreciate you all out there. Have a wonderful day. Take care.